Hello friends, you are welcome. This is Soft Freezing. This lesson is dedicated to adding rebar to the reinforced concrete member in the steel structure we did previously. And so I want to take you through some settings. You know, in the modeling of the steel structure, this was uh, the setting, okay? As in the environment that was used in that lesson was a UK environment. And then the uh, the role was a steel detailer, just like this, and it was like this full as the configuration. So I want to change this role to uh, want to change this role to casting cast institute detailer, just like this, and then uh, the configuration will be uh, taking it to be uh, we taking it to be rebar detailing, just like this. So after which we will now move to the main environment to continue the addition of rebar so as to be able to display important features that will assist us to carry out uh, that uh, activities on the uh, reinforced concrete member successfully. Okay, so let's go into it. Stay tuned. All right, so this is the structure we uh, previously uh, uh, model and uh, design. Okay, and also we added this uh, reinforced concrete member. So this time, as I said earlier, we will be adding rebar to this uh, reinforced concrete member. So we want to start by adding rebar to this uh, uh, footing. For us to do that, uh, we will uh, navigate to the application and component yeah you click on it then come to this place you type rebar just like this then if you screw down you will see this uh rebar part footings reinforcement with the micro 77 okay so you just have to click on it once you click on it you come close to the uh zoom in the uh foundation footing then click on it just once then the rebar will be inserted just like this after which you can just interrupt do control one to have a wireframe uh, uh, mode double click on the rebar so as to be able to set one or two thing all right so i want to be bringing closed the you know the extent of the returns bar okay so for me to do that i'll click this point and i will type uh minus yeah 100 just like this click on modify all right rule the minus the minus makes it to goes up click on modify all right so you'll be having something of this kind so this bar have a different part it has the secondary bar it has the uh primary bar as well as the lesser bar so the lesser bar is this ones that is by the side so if you don't want the lesser bar just come to the lesser bar uh tab click on this uh default and then you can select no as soon as I select no click on modify you notice that the lesser bar is no longer there but if you still want it to be part of the uh rebar placement you just say yes or you click on default and then you click on modify it will be inserted just like this okay and so the lesser bar uh diameter is also adjustable okay the secondary bar diameter is 60 mm so i want to be making it 12 just like this click on modify and as well as the sorry this was the primary bar as well as the secondary bar i want to make it uh, 12 mm just like this okay and then you click on modify then you cannot apply it and okay all right so i've haven't uh, instruct uh, the rebar for the uh part footing just like this i want to be also placing or adding a starter bar so for me to do that you just scroll along this uh application and component and see uh screw down i think there is a starter bar okay this one this is uh starter bar we'll be using this one starter bar for footing uh micros number 87 so you click on it as you click on it you just come and select this uh, uh column okay my you uh this column uh height is uh it's 500 mm so you just select it so once you select sorry uh you undo it 
you are supposed to select the footing so select the footing to insert it just like this so once you select it you can see it's, it is inserted but it's not well arranged for so you have to arrange it for you to do that you just right click and then click on the interrupt be able to select the uh, starter bar by double clicking on it then in the dialog box boss you'll be able to make some adjustment like the adjustment i want to do you can see this uh, particular uh, uh, bar through the uh, best plate if i do control 4 to get to the solid uh to the solid mode of this project you see that these are uh, actually protrude the uh protrude the uh the best plate which is not a model so i go back to control one which is the wireframe okay then i select this again to ensure that it is being activated here so i want to be bringing it down for me to bring it down, I want to just bring it down by saying putting 500 mm here. Click on modify. So you have something like this. I think this is model enough now. Okay. So the next thing I will be looking at is the uh, the the stirrups. Okay. You see the stirrups is uh, actually not extended to this point. So I want to distribute the stirrup in, a, in, in such such, such that uh, is extended to uh this area of this uh uh starter bar so for me to do that i will uh, navigate to the uh locations uh all right location parameter uh, all right go back to the picture sorry go back to the picture the number of uh, the stirrups here yeah, is four one two three four okay that's what you're seeing for yeah and you can see the stirrup uh spacing the stirrup spacing is 75 okay so i want to be adjusting this spacing as well as this height so come to this place and then you put instead of 50 here yeah, you just make it uh let me just say uh 200 okay click on modify uh put minus 200 modify yeah you have something of this kind just make it minus 500 we'll make it minus 500 click on modify all right so the stirrup is starting from here and then the number uh of it is going to be five then the spacing will now have to change it to 200 so that it can be distributed along the uh starter bars uh, uh length okay so click on modify you have something like this all right so this is model enough this is actually what we intended okay so after finishing it like this you just need to uh you can get to parameter or locations if you check the bottom you can see this one is just uh the concrete cover as in the blinding is also considered there okay to be uh 100 okay that is the concrete cover from the foundation level if you come to the locations uh, we don't have anything to do here because uh, this is the normal size that we have set already okay and we are not using circular otherwise we could have select circular so that is okay for the parameter you just have to give the prefix of the bar maybe you can t call it t okay as in the corner bar the same thing t and then the steer up you can use m that should be the prefix of the bar and the classes everything is being set up successfully click on modify apply and then you okay it all right so after which we want to be distributing this bar to other uh, footings okay for us to do that you just have to zoom in and then be able to select the uh starter bar select the starter bar that is not the starter bar make sure you select the starter bar like this okay hold the control key select the foundation uh, uh, footing bar this one after which just right click and then click on copy once you click on copy pick this point and then point uh, four and then place it at point three to insert it there also place it at point two to insert it as well okay all right so we want to place it at point uh, four to insert it so we have to delete this one uh that you have we put it uh when we are demonstrating the lesson so you right click and then click on delete to delete that one and then you can now copy this one that we have already set code all the control key and right click click on to copy 
just like this speak the point two and then place it point one all right so that's that is all it okay after we right click and then interrupt all right so we want to be distributing this to the other side you jump closely as well select the starter bar with the control key select this one right click click on copy pick point a then place it at point b just like that you can rotate the structure this way after which you select this command by right clicking and click on interrupt zoom this site in select the starter bar and the 14 bars right click again pick copy pick point 4 to point 3 and place it and 2.2 and also 2.1 so we have successfully placed our footing successfully just like this okay we want to add the rebar to the beam and for us to do that uh we will uh, navigate to beam you come to this place and type uh, you can just type rectangular sorry or a rectangular beam automated reinforced uh, layout this one so you just select it and then be able to select the the member so once you select it you can see the rebar is acted automatically okay just like this so what you just need to do if you want to edit this rebar you just double click on it once you double click a dialog will show just like this in this dialog you can be able to edit and know the size of the uh, rebar as well as the this person okay you can see the size is here uh, i'm having y25 i'm having 10 and uh, the still up 20 as well depending on their position uh, so it depends on what you know you can see the great edge okay so if you also check on the uh on this uh, uh stem still up you can see this person so this can be adjusted depending on what you want to do okay but for the sake of the lesson i can just leave it like this click on apply it okay all right after which i click on it again and i'll continue to place it in other uh members just like that i'll rotate it this way I'll add it here as well and then this place and this place so if you zoom closely you can see the anchorage how they were linked together okay so this is how it it is and this is how you can add successfully the rebar to the reinforced concrete member so this project we have uh, actually actualized uh, to this point and the next point we want to be looking at is uh generating barb in the schedule which is the next lesson okay so in the last session i will teach us how to generate barb in the schedule for this footing color the starter bar and this uh, beam okay so you have to stay tuned so i can just do control for to go to the solid uh to go to the solid uh, mode okay if i do control one it will give me the wireframe mode of the structure so this brings us to the end of this lesson today stay tuned and bye for now